Hi everybody. This is my 29 miscellaneous tank and I often talk about how I seldom ever do water changes on it and by that I mean maybe once a month I do about a 50% water change and then I just let it sit. Um, I don't recommend doing that. I'm simply telling you that's what I do to it. I always talk about how the tank turns over uh, without issue, so on and so forth. Well, full disclosure would be that I did lose a uh, loach in there not long ago, striated bodia, um, one of the zebra loaches, whatever you want to call it. Uh, found it in the bottom, it was dead, it had been dead for a day or two by the looks of it, maybe three. Um, no idea what was going on, I don't have any idea if it was the water being fouled or dirty or too long since I've done a water change or what. Uh, but it was dead and uh, so I cleaned it out of the tank and I didn't really think much more of it. But today I've been doing a little bit of maintenance in my T-bar tank. I just shot a video uh, about using hydrogen peroxide for algae control. And while I'm sitting here waiting for the tank to finish clearing up and I can shoot my final segment of before and after type video, I uh, decided I would just fiddle around with my handy dandy TDS meter. So what I found was my tank that I just did effectively a 100% water change has a total dissolved solid count of about 310. My Garami tank has a total dissolved solid count at about 315. My Angelfish, which has a lot of space for uh, detritus to get trapped, this has a TDS count of about 360. I checked this tank that I, once again, remind you, I seldom do water changes on this tank. The TDS count was 720. So we're doing a water change on this tank, and I'm certainly going to sort of rethink how I maintain this tank. Uh, this video is not going to be the video about total dissolved solids in your tank, um, but it's going to be a video that should whet your appetite. I'm going to start talking a little more about total dissolved solids, what all that means, how all that works. Uh, it can get kind of confusing. Uh, the TDS number is a starting point, and you have to understand what it means uh, uh, before you can start figuring out what all of those dissolved solids actually are. Uh, in this case, because of the fact that I do very few water changes, uh, the dissolved solids in there are nitrates and organics that are building up uh, over time from the lack of doing a water change. So let me get back onto this. I want to do about a 50% tonight, and then I'm going to keep my eye on that. Uh, but stay tuned. Subscribe now if you're not already. I will be shooting that video in the very near future, uh, discussing total dissolved solids in a little more depth. So thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one.